As protests unfold around the country in response to the death of George Floyd in Minneapolis, Central Texans may wonder what has happened to the officer involved case in Temple that took the life of Michael Dean. A Texas Rangers investigation put the fault on Temple police officer Carmen De Cruz, blaming him for the young man's death. Meantime, the Dean family and an anxious community waited for action, which a grand jury eventually provided with a manslaughter indictment against Cruz. Community activist Reverend James Hill sees many parallels between Minneapolis and Temple. I would say very much so because it's the same behavior. A problem made worse by the city's very limited response and even more limited release of information. We could have done a better job communicating at the very beginning, and um, but, but ultimately I think that we caught up. Mayor Tim Davis says the legacy of the Dean case will mean more and better crisis training for Temple Police. That we had put into our budget um, a process to develop a crisis management team and department. Uh, it had already been approved by the City of Temple uh, Council. Community leaders say, though, talk is cheap and actions speak louder. It's not what you say in life that matters, it's what you do. As for the future, Reverend Hill says, as what he calls short-tempered millennials take charge, violence could increase if the nation doesn't address its race relations problems. Our youth will not stand for it, I'll repeat myself. They will not stand for it. This country will burn day in and it will burn day out until there's something done. While many questions still surround the death of Michael Dean, prosecutors and political leaders here insist the case will get a thorough review in court. In Bell County, Dennis Turner, 25 News.